You're watching Toon Dice, your cartoon paradise. Thanksgiving is next Thursday, but right now, it's an all-new Pokémon TCG Online. Hey guys, Scott here, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Online. Now, if you guys have been following our last couple of episodes, you'll know that my Aqua Jet deck is actually doing much better than I thought it would do, especially considering that I am missing a lot of cards that I would love to put into the deck, but I just don't have in my collection. For instance, I only have two Empoleon, when really I should have four, considering the whole deck revolves around using Empoleon. Same thing with Vanillix, I only have one, and really that is not good at all. But that being said, twice already we've taken on opponents with my Aqua Jet deck, and those opponents were using Electric-type Pokémon, and I don't know what the heck happened, but somehow I got lucky and I was able to pull off a win in both of those cases. Unfortunately, that is most likely going to change tonight, because tonight, we are going to challenge a gym leader in expert mode, and as you can only imagine, they don't call it expert mode without a reason, and that's because the trainers in expert mode really know what they're doing. They know how to play the game, and most likely, they already have every card that they need to build the perfect deck, so... Already, we're at a disadvantage, but... You know what? We're gonna give this one last shot, and... Hope for the best. So, let's go ahead and search for tonight's opponent, who is going to be... Ms. Addy 77 I'll need a reshuffle. Already I can tell we're in trouble because they've got a gold Zekrom Reshiram coin out on the table. Go, Emolga! And Vanillite. The prizes are set, so let the battle begin! Tails. And I get the first move but I don't think it's going to help me out all that much. Okay, let me go ahead and start things off by playing N to get a new hand of cards. Okay, and that doesn't really help me either. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and send out all of these Pokémon. And that is going to end my turn. Addy is up, and... Let's see here. Dual Ball. Okay, one basic Pokémon is coming out into play. It's a Gibble! Oh, jeez. And a Mewtwo EX. Every trainer in expert mode has a Mewtwo EX except me! And now Gibble has a blend energy equipped to it. And N is being played. Oh, great. Is that a Rayquaza EX? No, it's a Tornadus EX! Just as bad. We are not off to a great start here. Did Gibble attack with Sand Attack, or...? I don't know, because there's no counter on my Molga here. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do, although I'm not too hopeful at the moment. I will take this Giant Cape, equip it to Piplup, plus 20 max HP, and Piplup does look good in a cape. Mind you, this isn't a Pokémon contest, but what the heck. 
Okay, next, I will use Professor Elm's help to take out... Empoleon! And, I'm going to activate Rare Candy to evolve Piplup into Empoleon. That is awesome. Next, I will go ahead and use Empoleon's Diving Draw to discard Prinplup and get two more cards. Tool Scrapper and a Water Energy. Excellent. So now I can go ahead and power up my Empoleon. I'll keep Tool Scrapper in my hand in case we run into any Eviolites. And let's have Emolga retreat. Go, Empoleon! I choose you! Empoleon, use attack command! It's a one-hit KO! Gibble has fainted. And we're off to a great start, but it is going to get worse, because now we've got some EXs to take care of. My first prize card, it's Switch. Oh great, now we've got a Gabite on the field. Never like to see one of those. Let's see what happens next. And a Gibble comes out of his deck. I think that was Gabite's ability, Dragon Call, but I'm going to double check that. He's also playing Sharon to get some more cards. Did I just predict that or what? Eviolite equipped to Gabite. I think Mewtwo just got a double colorless energy equipped to it. And we've got another Gibble out on the field. Let me check something here. Yep, it was Gabite's Dragon Call. Take a Dragon-type Pokémon and add it to your hand, so that's how we've got another Gibble out on the field. Mewtwo EX has a double colorless, never like to see that. X-Ball, too much damage. But, one thing I am curious about, why was Eviolite equipped to Gabite? Because... It only affects basic, unevolved Pokémon. Okay, well, how much HP does it have? 80. We should be able to take it out. How much HP does Mewtwo EX have? 170. Ouch. Hmm. Let me just think this over real quick. If I activate Catcher, bring out Mewtwo EX, we can do 90 damage. We can two-hit KO Mewtwo EX. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. From my hand, I activate the trainer card Pokémon Catcher to bring out Mewtwo! Next, Empoleon! We are going... ...to... Hmm, I was going to attack, but should I use Diving Draw? I have to keep Max Potion and Rare Candy in my hand, and I need Tool Scrapper, so should I get rid of Switch? Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Empoleon, use Diving Draw! I'll discard Switch to get two more cards, and we've got Professor Elm's Training Method and a Fisherman. Hmm. Not what I was hoping for. Okay, let's go ahead and activate Professor Elm's training method to get out my second Empoleon, and I activate Rare Candy to evolve Piplup into Empoleon. Nice. And now, let's see if we can do some damage here. Empoleon, use Attack Command! 90 damage. Okay, we've now got another Gabite in play here. And a Garchomp. A 
at this rate, Mewtwo is going to be the least of my worries. Garchomp seems ready to go on the assault. And he's playing in. Hmm. Okay. Mewtwo's X-Ball, 60 damage. Okay, my turn. Whoa! Three Professor Junipers? Are you kidding me? Let's see. Garchomp, Mock Cut, Dragon Blade. Ouch. 100 damage. That is not good. Okay. Let me go ahead and do this. I will take this Water Energy, tag that on to my Empoleon. Next, I'm going to play N to get a reshuffle. Okay, that might actually come in handy. Alright, I will go ahead and equip this giant cape to... My other Empoleon. Okay, let me check my discard pile. Okay, we've got Prinplop, and that's it, so... Not the best situation here. I will activate Empoleon's Diving Draw, and we will get rid of Super Rod to get two more cards. Vanillish, that helps. So I'll evolve my Vanillite. And let me go ahead and activate Empoleon's Diving Draw again. We'll get rid of this Water Energy, get two more cards. Okay. May or may not help, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, Empoleon, use Attack Command! That Mewtwo is history! Wow, that's the first time I've taken out a Mewtwo EX without using an EX Pokémon of my own. Okay, I get two prize cards, so let's take this one, N, and this one. Blend Energy. Garchomp is up next. That Eviolite has no effect, but now I'm going to lose my Empoleon, unfortunately. And now we've got another Garchomp out on the field. Ouch. Garchomp's Dragon Blade. Alright, side effect being two cards discarded from the top of your deck, but my opponent went ahead with it anyway. Okay, Emolga, you're up next. Okay. And Addy gets his first prize. Okay. What should I do here? I'm actually thinking of bringing in this as a guard shot. But then if I do, I don't think I'll be able to take this one out. Unless... I can take out this Tornadus. Garchomp has how much HP? 140. My Empoleon can do... 70. So it's still a two-hit KO, regardless. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll take this Water Energy, equip it to Vanillish. And... We're gonna go ahead... And... Do this. I will activate Empoleon's Diving Draw. Let's get rid of Prinplup. Two more cards. Another Vanillite. Nice. I'll send that out. And... I think that's going to be it for me. So... Let's go ahead and see where this goes. Emolga! Come back! Empoleon! You're up! Okay, Empoleon! 
Let's do some damage with attack command. That's 80 damage. Addy's turn. I am not liking where this is going. Right now, Empoleon is the only thing standing between me and losing this match. And we now have another Garchomp to worry about. That's currently being powered up. Garchomp's Dragon Blade. Two more cards discarded. And it is my turn once again. Oh, nice! This may just turn the tide of the battle in my favor. Okay, I activate Max Potion! To restore 100 HP to my Empoleon. Then, I will take this water energy, equip it to Empoleon. And... We're also going to activate Empoleon's Diving Draw, and I will get rid of Professor Juniper to get two more cards. Yes! Silent. Nice. Okay, I will activate Silent. Let's get some more energies into my hand. We can never have too many energies. I'm also sending out Emolga, and having Empoleon use Attack Command one more time. And that takes care of Garchomp. Of course, now we've got another Garchomp to worry about. My next prize card is another Prinplop. Let's see what happens. Of course, Garchomp is fully powered up, and it's Dragon Blade just slices across my Empoleon again. That is never a good sign. Okay. Alright, tons of energies here. So, Empoleon used Diving Draw yet again, and we are once again going to get rid of Prinplup. Because I only have two Empoleon in my deck, so it makes no sense to keep it. Okay, and... Let's see if we can turn the tide of battle here, possibly win the match. I will go ahead and activate Crushing Hammer! Awesome! And I will target Guard Chomp and crush this fighting energy right out of the game. Next! I am going to activate Pokemon Catcher to bring in Tornadus. Empoleon, use Attack Command. 80 damage. Eviolite gets equipped to Guard Chomp, along with another Fighting Energy. Again, though, I don't know why Eviolite is being equipped to it when it only affects unevolved Pokémon. Max Potion fully restores Tornadus' HP, that is never a good sign, and now we're dealing with a level ball, but I don't think any Pokémon was taken out of the deck, so... Maybe there are no Pokémon with less than 90 HP remaining in his deck. Okay, and awesome! I just went ahead and got another Max Potion. So I will activate that on Empoleon. Plus 100 HP. Next, we're gonna go straight in and equip this Water Energy to Empoleon yet again. And let me check one thing here. Garchomp, 140 HP. Because basically I've got two choices, I could play my other catcher and bring Garchomp in again. 
but I don't really want to, so let me go ahead and just have Empoleon use Diving Draw. We're going to get rid of another Water Energy, get two more cards. Okay, didn't really help me there, but that's alright. Empoleon, use Attack Command. 80 damage. Unfortunately, Attack Command is stuck at the 80 damage mark unless Addy plays another Pokémon. If he does, then this match is over. So, what happens next could be either really good or really bad. Blend Energy. Hmm. And Garchomp is out again. Great. Dragon Blade, another 100 damage. Two more cards discarded. What to do? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to take this water energy, tag that onto Vanillish. Okay. And let's play Silent again. Wow. I don't have any more energies in my deck. That's great. Okay. So much for that idea. Okay, next. How many cards do I have left? Eleven? Wow. Okay, Empoleon, use Diving Draw again. We're gonna get rid of N. Get two more cards. Another switch. That always helps. Okay. Empoleon, return. Go. Vanillish. Okay, next, I activate Pokemon Catcher to bring Tornadus out once again. Vanillish, attack with Frost Breath. 40 more damage. Tornadus is being equipped with an energy again. And Tornadus returns to the bench. Wiz Guard Chomp out on the field. It's a one hit KO with Dragon Blade. And Vanillish goes down. Sorry, Vanillish. But Empoleon, I choose you! Empoleon can't withstand another hit. It has already taken a ton of damage in this battle. But you know what? It doesn't matter, because this match is over! I activate Max Potion once again to fully heal Empoleon. Next, I'm powering it up with another Water Energy and activating Pokémon Catcher to bring Tornadus back out. Empoleon, finish this with Attack Command! Tornadus goes down, I get Vanillish and Vanillux as my prizes. And this battle is over! I love you, Dawn! Oops. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Victory never felt so good. That was amazing. My MVP was Empoleon, and Addy's MVP was Garchomp. And because I won the match, I got a token. Awesome. And that ends the run of battles with my Aqua Jet deck. Tonight's Pokemon TCG Online booster credit question is this. What were the two Pokemon EX that Addy played on the field throughout all of tonight's match? As always, first person was the correct answer to that question in the comments section of tonight's episode on Toon Dice will win a free Pokemon TCG Online booster credit code. 
And that's it for tonight. Questions or comments? Join the conversation on Twitter or on Toon Dice. Don't forget to subscribe to Toon Dice to keep up to date with new episodes of Pokemon TCG Online. And click the like button if you enjoyed tonight's episode. Stay tuned for another all-new episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel tomorrow morning at 11.30 in the Vortex on the CW. And don't forget that I will be back once again tomorrow night at 8, 7 central for another brand new episode of Pokemon TCG Online. Until then, thanks for watching. For now, I'm Scott, and I'm signing off and asking you to get in the game. See you guys later.